All right, so Buddy and I, we left this morning after we loaded a bag for somebody, took the tandem over, got another load of oats, then we got back, fed the steers, I washed this brown truck. Buddy said he wanted to wash Marvin. So I am sitting here having a coffee, watching Buddy do the work. So definitely, uh, I'm sure he'd get it done eventually. I'd have one real clean tire for sure. But good afternoon. So Buddy and I were off this morning. We got the tandem full of oats, cleaned up the truck, and now she's sprayer tire changing day again. That was a complete nightmare because we always put the tires up where it stays wet all year, so you get stuck getting them. But we did get them out, so we're gonna get the jack set up and uh, get to changing some tires. All right, so I'm gonna have to actually look back. I don't even know what time we started this. I'm pretty sure it only took, I don't even think it took an hour. And uh, it used to take quite a while, but we made some uh, investments. You know, we got this uh, <clears throat> sprayer lift and uh, we got some decent forks for our back one and everything. So actually it just stays right on there because the hose is reach. So you run that right from the back hole and you just, uh, you know, break them loose up off with the old on with the new we use this tractor here to lift the new ones up off the ground because those tires i'm not sure what they weigh i think they weigh maybe 800 pounds or whatever they're extremely heavy so yeah i was gonna set my camera up and film it but i already made a video about changing sprayer tires so i don't know maybe i'll if you don't know how to do it there's a video on there and there's a ton on youtube anyways but anyways ours is done now i'm just gonna see if i can lift up my uh air cart tank because we got a flat tire here and since how we got the lift out we may as well try hey good morning it is a beautiful morning again today didn't even freeze last night got down to six <clears throat> first thing i got to do this morning i got to run up get my grain back moved over to the barley bin we got our last load of barley going out today yesterday was crazy busy me and buddy went over to the neighbors we got another load of oats we did some work on this trailer we washed the truck we started washing the sprayer while Buddy did anyways. And then when everybody got back, we went up and got our tires with the backhoe, our bigger tires, and we put them on. I was gonna film that, but actually we got so efficient this year with our new forks and our sprayer jack and everything else. It just went, it didn't even take an hour to change all four tires. So we changed it from the skinny ones to these big wide ones. You do that, uh, these wide ones better for, for flotation and then uh, <clears throat> less compaction when you're spraying herbicide on the crop when it's small. You put the skinny ones on when you're going to desiccate. So once the crop is full grown and you spray it to kill it or if you're going to go out and do a late fungicide treatment or something along that line, like a, like a top dressed nitrogen or a fertilizer or something, you, uh, you switch your little ones back. So these will stay on till basically the end of July, and then we'll switch them back to the little ones. Other than that today, I'm gonna probably set the tandem up back at the roller so I could roll all the oats. And uh, supposed to start raining this afternoon, so if that happens, I got a camera and stuff to install in my air cart. The tire guy is supposed to be coming out today to change the tires on that 4440 over there, because there's one 20.8 on one side and 118 point whatever on the other side so it's sitting lopsided so we got new tires coming for that he's also got to fix the tire on our anhydrous cart and while he's here i'll just get him to fix the tire on the air cart too because it's off the rim and then uh well the tire should be fixed so always a lot to do coming up to spring we're not uh we're not even getting you know uh, anxious to seed or anything the nights are still very very cold and uh, not that moisture will be an issue but it is the wind's been blowing so hard for the last few weeks that uh, the dry spots in the field are going to be really really dry and the wet spots are still wet so it's not very good seeding conditions at the moment because if it's too wet the seeds just rot in the ground and if it's too dry they don't germinate so we do have to wait for the soil to warm up a little bit anyways and then uh, so probably 27th 28th 29th of april we'll start seeding wheat if the weather looks nice and we'll go from there so i didn't ever have any seeding videos in when i started this youtube channel 
we are, we're already late. We were already done seeding. It was already, I think it was July. So we'll get some seeding, seeding videos done this year. But I'm gonna head up here now and get ready to uh, load that barley. This is gonna be like my last full on day of making feed, I think for the spring. We got, uh, we got lots of work to do and uh, <clears throat> there's not a big rush to do field work right now. We usually don't start until May anyways up here. Uh, actually, I was reading the thing. May 18th is the last, basically, frost-free day that you can sort of be guaranteed you won't get frost past that point. So <clears throat> to seed a whole bunch of crop right now and have it come up in a day and then freeze, you know, on the 8th of May would be pretty discouraging. However, we can do a lot of field work. We can do some anhydrising. We can do some disking. We can do some, uh, you know, guys can do harrowing or whatever. The other unfortunate thing to that is I'm hearing a lot, oh, it's going to be a drought, going to be a drought, going to be a drought. It's possible. The wind's been blowing out of the east for like the last week. Generally in our area, if the wind blows out of the east for a few days and then blows out of the west, you get some rain. Well, yesterday we got rain and snow. Not much. Like the yard is still dry, but we did have a little bit. So <clears throat> that being said, though, a guy doesn't want to do a whole bunch of unnecessary tillage to dry this out if we are going to go into a uh, wetter spring slash or drier spring slash summer. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not too worried about it at this point. I mean, we're still, you know, basically a week and a half away from, from seeding. So a lot can change in the weather. But anyways, I'm going to fire up these tractors. I want to get all my bags made today. I got caught up. I got like 12, 15 bags or something to make. But if I can get that all caught up, then I should be able to stay with it. Feed usually slows down going into the spring. Animals are out eating grass and things like that. So the... Uh, need for feed usually decreases all right so it took us all morning but we got a whole bunch of bags made in fact somebody was just here picked one up there's a couple more sitting outside now we are going to grab our four-wheel drives and we're going to go up get our uh anhydrous applicator and our <clears throat> one seed drill the seed drill that we use the most now it's our newest one so we're gonna go grab those, see uh, see how it goes. I'll have a drink, bud. All right, me and bud just got up here. A little bit of ruts, but uh, not too bad. So this drill is only about three years old, so basically needs no maintenance, really. I gotta get it hooked up to its air tank. And I'm gonna install a few more blockage monitors, depending on the price of them, I guess. And. Uh, Basically, it will be ready to fill with seed. I put a camera in yesterday. This is the monitors for it. That's the monitor for the drill, monitor for the camera, and then another kind of remote thing for the drill. These, uh, you know, apparently these seed masters were supposed to be the pet cat's pajamas. I don't know, this is 12 inch spacing. We did get a nice canola crop with it last year, but uh, you know, I'm not sure if that's 100% the drills credit or what you know it's you know it could be whatever i guess but uh i do like uh this is uh one with the independent openers so i do like that and one of the other things that was i was excited about was it came with a new holland tank now i know there's a lot of people that don't like that uh you know mickey mouse and things together like that but uh i really Despite hating Douglas Lake and our New Holland dealer, I, I think they have some decent equipment. I like their tank, it's simple to use. Uh, people might say, oh, well, all the tanks are simple once you figure them out. That's probably true, but we know how to use the New Holland tanks and we really like them. I really like the New Holland tractors. Uh, we bought this one brand new, just got 32, almost 3,300 hours on it. Absolutely amazing tractor. So like I say, if the uh, dealer wasn't complete garbage, you know, we probably have even new home combines. <clears throat> 